welcome back to my channel this is the part two of what's on my registry i hope you guys enjoyed the first one if you haven't seen it i'll have it up here go ahead and watch that video before you watch this one in that one i mentioned the bigger items like baby gear and nursing and feeding items that i have on my registry in this video i'm going to mention the diapering products that i have and health and safety and like hygiene products that i have on my registry so without further ado let's get started i'm going to start with the diapers that i chose uh the diapers that i chose are the pampers pure brand and these are new i think they launched about maybe like a year and a half ago i'm not completely sure but i know that they're new for sure because when i had my daughter madeline who's a toddler in lao they weren't around and what i love about these products are that they are like alcohol free paraben free dye free and they're super just uh safe for baby which is really amazing and i love anything like that i will say that my daughter didn't really have a problem with the diapers that we used last time around which were pampers uh pampers they were pampers but they were the pampers <sighs> what were they <sighs> i can't remember which pampers they were um but we used pampers we used huggies we used kirkland costco brand and we used honest and um she did great you know she didn't have a problem with any of them luckily um, but like i said these have many benefits so that's why i chose these to be on my registry and these are just what's on my registry who knows what are what's actually going to be gifted to me they also have wipes that are also just free of parabens fra fragrance free and all of that good stuff so if you if that's really important to you and it matters to you i would recommend putting these on your registry also next i have the triple paste diaper rash cream and this is the holy grail for me this worked with madeline and whenever she did rash up this would have it gone by probably the next diaper change so it works amazing it was recommended to us by our our pediatrician and it worked when Madeline also had milk neck and she rashed up really bad in her neck it also worked for that so it works for any type of rash if you even have a rash you can probably put it on <laughs> and it would help <laughs> um, but yeah I have that on my registry because it was a necessity for us as far as a changing pad I am really interested in getting the skip hop a uh, baby changing pad it's a cheaper option to the peanut changer i'll insert a picture of both of those so you can see them now these ones are really nice because you can wipe them down so they're not like cloth where you would buy a, a cover over it where it's like a foam pad and then you would buy a cover over it so that you'd have to wash it every time it gets dirty so these are really nice because you can just wipe them down now i have the skip hop changing pad on my registry because it's a much cheaper option to the peanut one and uh it's really cute it has like a little mobile on it so i'll have a link down below to the skip hop changing pad it can be kind of pricey so if you want to go for just like a regular changing pad i will also link down below the munchkin changing pad i don't know which one i'm gonna get yet because like i said the one of them is Def there's definitely a price difference <laughs> in them but if you get like the munchkin one you'll need to get like a cover so that when it gets dirty you can wash it and stuff like that so i would recommend putting if you do go for the munchkin changing pad i'd recommend also putting a changing cover on your registry next item that i have is the ubi diaper pail now this one is something new to me this time around that i've seen and I am really interested in getting this one and I will definitely invest in it because it is a little more pricier than like the basic Playtex Diaper Genie. And the reason is that it's like a stainless steel material and it is said to keep 
and really enclose the odor because the Playtex Diaper Genie, it will start to smell. It has like cracks in it, not because it's broken, but just the way it's built. There's still cracks in it where the smell can come out of, which I will say it does after about maybe like eight, nine months. I'm not too sure. It will start to smell. And if it doesn't smell just sitting there, it smells right when you open it and it flaps back down and it just, it just smells. So I, I am definitely interested in investing in this Ubi Diaper Pell if it's going to keep the smell away <laughs> and it looks really nice. It has like a nice sleek modern, modern look, which is, I think, great. Uh, they have a ton of different colors so you can find like a really really cute pattern or color that will really look nice in your nursery they also have bags so another cool feature is that you can use regular trash bags in this in this pail whereas the diaper genie you needed to buy like the refill inserts which kind of was a pain sometimes if you ran out, if you didn't know, and stuff like that. So being able to use regular trash bags is like really convenient for parents. So I think that's great. And so I have the Ubi Diaper Pell on the registry and I have refills, which they do offer. They offer refill bags, but like I said, you can use trash bags. So whatever is more convenient for you. But I added a pack of refills for the registry just if anybody wanted to get any <laughs> and they also have this ubi retractable like on the go bag dispenser that you can clip onto your diaper bag uh, whenever you're on the go and you have a diaper and you don't want it to smell or you don't have anywhere to throw it away i know when we go to our pediatrician's office they have us take our diapers with us we can't throw them away there in their office so it'd be nice to just have these little bags to tie and like keep in our bag I guess because we can't throw them away now as far as like hygiene and health products I have the Dreft uh, laundry detergent which smells amazing you guys I love Dreft I still even use it for my toddler so I have Dreft laundry detergent on here and uh, I would really recommend it you guys to do your baby's laundry it just smells amazing and it's just a great product i'm sure you guys have heard of it uh, so i have draft laundry detergent on my registry and i also have the draft scent boosters now if you're familiar with downy scent boosters the small little circles that like help smell <laughs> they help like they're like fabric softeners uh, they they make them for draft so well draft makes them for babies <laughs> so i have those i also use those for my toddler's clothes still so i added those also to my registry to use for my baby's clothes it'll leave them smelling amazing you guys so these are necessities and they also i also have the draft stain remover now this is a spray and i would spray down madeline <laughs> And when Madeline would have like poop explosions, I would spray spray her onesie or whatever it was down with the stain remover. And this was right away. So I would spray it down right away so that it can start to sit on the stain. Uh, whether I was going to wash it that second or whether I was going to wash the next day. So I would spray it on right away while at, right after I changed her so that it can start, you know, taking this stain out and working its magic so I have that on my registry I would really recommend it and um, I know that Drift has a lot of products I've seen that they even have like multi-surface multi-purpose wipes um, and they also have like a to go like on the go draft pen and these things also come in like gift packs uh, so that would be really cool to have on your registry. Also, if you're looking for a gift, that would be a really great gift to give because this is something that will be used for a baby for sure. And um, 
yeah so i would recommend putting either these products individually or maybe the gift pack on your registry i'll have links to those down below in the description the next item is the crane drop humidifier now crane has animal animal like looking humidifiers which are so cute and i had the elephant one on my registry but recently i have made a change to the one that I have now on my registry. I'll insert a picture. I just feel like this one is gonna look a little better and go with the theme of the nursery that I'm going for. So I think this one will look a little nicer and it's also um, kind of just like plain and we'll be able to use it when baby isn't a baby anymore and I can move it around the house and stuff like that and it'll look really cute. Their animal ones though are so cute. I mean they have like an elephant, they have a panda, they have like a frog and a duck. So if you can find like one that would look super cute in your nursery and whatever theme that you have, that's great. I'll link a link down below to the humidifier that I have on my registry and also like the elephant one and you guys can see which animal you guys like better. Um, so a humidifier is really important when baby gets like really congested and like stuffy. It really helps for them. You guys should know the benefits of humidifiers. I don't think I need to talk about that. Next, I have a ton of Frida Baby products. Now first, the Frida Baby Nasal Aspirator. I'm sure you guys have heard of it. I used to think that this was the only product that they make, but they don't. Now what the aspirator does is you can put one end in baby's nose and you can suck. Um, the, any kind of boogies that they have, if they're really congested, you can just um, relieve that for them. And it may seem a little gross, but obviously there's a filter. You're not eating your baby's boogers. I never used this because Madeline didn't have, she didn't really get sick during her first year. So I didn't use it, but I have heard great things about it. And I don't expect this baby to be like Madeline. This baby will probably get sick. So I just want to be prepared. And like I said, I've heard great things about it. So I have this on my registry. I also have the Frida Baby Nail Frida, which is the nail clipper that they have. It's made for babies and it also comes with a nail file, I believe. And I also have the Frida Baby Windy. Now what this product does is it's a, it's a, you insert it into baby's bottom to relieve their sphincter and it helps when baby is like gat when they have gas and when they have colic and they just like are kind of like a little like not necessarily constipated but they they're having a hard time pooping and stuff like that so you can help relieve that with this product which is probably really weird and you haven't heard of it i recently a few days heard about this and i think it's really great and it's crazy that frida baby even makes all these products but I added that to the registry and I also added the uh, silicone cradle cap brush it's like a silicone brush and Madeline did have cradle cap and it's very common in babies and I will say that they offer uh, a kit it's like the Frida baby basics kit that includes um the previous products that i mentioned so i'll have that linked in the description i'll have each i think it's it was like four of them i'll have those linked in the description and then i'll have the frida baby basics kit linked down below also if that's something you're interested in i also have the baby Ganix foaming bottle and like dish soap so this is nice because I tend to do Madeline's dishes separately from like our dishes. I have like a separate bottle brush for her and stuff like that and like a sponge. So I have this foaming dish and bottle soap uh, on the registry to clean baby's bottles. And I'll have that link down below in the description. Baby Ganix also has like a multi-surface like high chair and like cleaning toy spray that I have on the registry as well so I think that's great to clean all of baby's products with and like the high chair and stuff like that so that's on the registry and I believe 
that is everything <laughs> so hopefully i try to get everything like i said there is a ton of other stuff on my registry that i didn't include in this video i just wanted to include things like this that are like must-haves or that are essential i believe for you and for baby to have on your registry um a few products like bath soap and like shampoo and like body wash and stuff like that if you are curious to what i do have on the registry i believe i have the johnson's products on my registry and i just went with like the ones that smell good like <laughs> i know they have like a honey apple scent that i really like and they have like an oatmeal one that smells really really good if you prefer the fragrance free you can also do stuff like that and like I said, clothes, like you guys just go ahead and pick whatever you think is cute and add that to your registry. I I went with whatever was the most gender neutral and I added that to my registry. Like I said, I would be so thankful for anything that I receive. I am not picky. I, like I said, am not expecting anyone to buy me anything that's on here. I am just really grateful that everyone is happy to get together and celebrate the welcoming of another baby in our family. So that's going to be the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope that you guys found a lot of inspiration for either your registry or for your friend or someone you know that's pregnant. I hope you found a great gift idea for them. If you haven't seen part one, don't forget to watch it. I'll have it linked down below in the description. And thank you so, so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already and turn on your bell notifications so you don't miss my next video. Check out my pregnancy updates if you're new or if you haven't seen them. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.